everyone and welcome to Micro PD. I hope you had a fabulous spring break and welcome back to school. Today we'll be looking at using Mentimeter in Zoom sessions with students. Let's get started. Okay, so today's tool is web-based and it's called Mentimeter.com. If you've never used it before, it's fun, very easy to use and it's free, but best of all, it works in China without a VPN and can be integrated pretty easily with Zoom. So if you've never used it before, it is a helpful tool for collecting data, uh, maybe a quick formative assessment or a check-in with students. Um, it makes it more interactive and engaging. So once you get signed up or logged in, you'll be to your dashboard of presentations. Go ahead and click new presentation here, give it a name. So maybe you call it Zoom session and create presentation. Then it will take you to a choice board where you'll decide what kind of tool you want to use here. So you can choose multiple choice, create a word cloud, do open ended, a scale, Q&A, image, or rank. For this example, let's go ahead and choose image choice. And we'll say that maybe you use this during a synchronous community building morning meeting or something like that. Um, as your innovation coach, obviously, I would like to see everyone modeling good digital citizenship and using um, a Creative Commons platform like Pixabay or Unsplash to find their photos, uh, unless you're the owner and you've taken the picture yourself. Okay, so here you'll just type in whatever you want to see. So for example, um, let's pose a question, where is your ideal spring break? I'll type in beach, save my photos. And then what I'm going to do back in Mentimeter is put my prompt here. Where is your ideal spring break location? And then in the options below, right next to it, you can upload your images here. And I'll do this in fast forward to make the video shorter. Okay, so your question is now complete. You've given your question and your three answers with the pictures. We'll go ahead and go to share. That way you can um, copy the link and you're going to put this in your Zoom chat. Copy link, open up Zoom and post it in the chat. So now we're in Zoom and basically what you'll do is go ahead and open the chat whenever you're ready and paste that link right in the chat, send it to your students. Students will click on that link. It will take them to menti.com and here it is. Choose your ideal spring break location. Okay, so back in Zoom, you can, after you've collected all the answers, go to screen share, go into the browser where you have your Mentimeter set up and there you go. There are the responses and you could share it with the students or you could just collect answers and keep it as an assessment or bring it into a, a meeting next time. So there you go. One way to use Mentimeter during your Zoom conversations. Hope you enjoyed this micro PD and hope to see you at the next.